Bloggings are a great way to increase your productivity and overall programming experience. Some tasks are boring and not fun to do. By using some plugins in your Android Studio, you can get more done in less time. Today I will share with you 5 useful Android Studio plugins that I think it will help you to become a better Android developer. So how to get the plugins in Android Studio? Go to File, Settings, and from here, choose Plugin. And as you can see, you have two tabs. You have the Marketplace, where you can search, and you have the Installed tab. To see the installed plugins in your uh, Android Studio IDE, or you can switch to Marketplace and search for, for example, Code Glance and click Install to install it. So let's get started. Number one, Key Promoter X, and the Key Promoter X plugin help you to learn the essential keyboard shortcuts while you are working, and when you click a button. On the IDE, the Key Promoter X will show you a pop-up for the shortcut that you should use instead of clicking the button manually using the mouse. So let me show you. For example, if I hit Run right here, as you can see this pop-up, it will tell me that Command Run has been missed 15 times and you should use Shift plus F10 instead. So this is just an example, okay? Now to the next plugin, Rainbow Brackets. And this plugin will color coding your brackets, make it easier to find buried brackets so you don't get lost in a slew of identical brackets. And as you can see, I already have it right here. Those brackets are green, so they are together. And those brackets are orange, so they are together. ADB idea and this plugin for android studio or intellij idea that speed up your day-to-day -day android development because the, it adds the following commands are provided so you can install the app kill the app restart the app or do other things like restart the app with the debugger revoke permissions clear app data restart enable or disable the wi-fi so how you access it after install you go to tools and from here Go to the ADB and as you can see I have those commands. Let me bring up my emulator right here. And as you can see I have the app open right here. So if you go to tools, ADB and for example I restart the app. But as you can see the app has been restarted. If you have to restart your app every time you can just use this command. Or you can use any other functionalities like uh, clearing the app data or uh, turning on or turning off the Wi-Fi. So it is very, very useful. Number four, Material Theme UI. And this will give you a bunch of very beautiful themes that you can apply to your IDE. And you can just install it and click Apply. And it will need to restart your Android and click OK. And as you can see, I have this menu right here where you can toggle the colors, the highlighting the menus and a lot of things and from here you can choose the theme for example i really like night all theme and as you can see we have this beautiful theme called night all and it is very very popular among android developers community and for the number five we can install the code glance plugin and if you are familiar with using for example vs code or sublime text editor and code glance will show you a small window at the top right corner where you can see or navigate quickly to a specific parts in your code so you can install it after installing you need to start the ide now as you can see we have this small window and we can quickly navigate between uh, the lines in our file and if you have a huge file you can quickly navigate between different parts in the file so those are the five uh, best android studio plugins and what plugins should be added to the list if you have any suggestions feel free to leave it in a comment section below the video uh, follow me on instagram linkedin have a nice day